That's a groaning. What's that? That's a giant. Oh, you see that in there? Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. No, we're going to put the ACC to test. Yeah. It's been a huge debate upon crappy fishermen. What's the best live scope rig? And by rig, what's the most efficient way to catch a crappy using forward facing sonar? A lot of people like to cast to them, wind it above their head, have them follow it and eat it. Mostly clear water fishermen do that. But me personally, I like to take my 13 foot ACC crappy sticks and I'm gonna get hot and dirty with them, get right on top of them, put the jig in their face and make them bite it. So today I'm gonna show you the most efficient and less hassle way to catch them with a really long pole. So y'all stay tuned. So for years I've had I've had pan optics, live scope, forward facing sonar for almost four years or over four years now, I'm not sure. I probably have 8,000 to 10,000 hours on it. Um, crappy fishing with it is just second nature to me now. But the most effective rig I've found for my 13 foot pole or 12 foot pole and hopefully in the future a 14 to 16 foot pole if ACC would come out with a light one is this. I run straight braid on my pole. I run 10 pound power pro. Uh, I have ran uh, the sniping braid. I don't really like it because I kept breaking on hook sets. But right now I have 10 pound power pro on my 13 footer. So the most efficient way to rig this up, we're just gonna rig it up for you guys. A half ounce sinker. I don't care if you've got the long ones, the short ones, uh, a pointy one, whatever. It's a half ounce. Sometimes I will go up to a quarter, I mean a, a three fourths or even eight ounce if the wind's right. But you, you've got to have a pole that can handle it. If you're using like a, the cheap B&M or Mr. Crappy poles from Walmart, the, the tips of them are too soft. That's why I like the ACC. But a half ounce, I like the barrel ones, the round ones. Now what you're going to do, you're going to run your braid through. This is why braid is so important for this rig. And if you're worried about the crappy C in your line, think of it like this. Your crappy should never even see your line. If the crappy are seeing your line, you're not doing it right. Point blank period, you can take that however you want it. You want that jig to always be in that crappy's face and you don't want the chance for him to see your line. So the braid works. So you run that braid through. Now you want to run it and you want to leave probably a foot and a half off of it. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take your end of your line, wet it up so it goes through easier, and you're actually going to run it through again. And you're going to run it through one more time. Now it starts to get tricky after one or two times of getting it to go in. Now, you see how it doesn't move? We're gonna run it through one more time. So you wanna run it through three times in total. So wet it up and get it through there. Now what's gonna happen is you know, this is basically a bobber stop, give or less. You can put a bobber stop on it if you want, but to me, this is the most cost efficient way and it holds it because a bobber stop, if you have two of them on there, eventually your sinker is going to go over it and it gets annoying. But this way with straight braid, what's going to happen is when you're out there plucking them chickens, your line is actually going to get embedded into your lead weight 
And that, that, that joker is just not going to move at all, guys. I mean, look, I'm going to wrap this braid around. I'm just going to pull. Nothing. So, you've got this. Now, you gotta you got to put the the chicken noodle soup on what the what the crap is going to eat and everybody just knows what i'm about to pull out but that crappy man green little man get some guys this is a 132 ounce i want a small bait when i'm out there because yeah a big crappy will eat a big bait but they will always eat a small bait always and if they don't hey he gonna live to see another day so now the trick to this you know, we left, we dropping it now. So the trick to this is we left about, you know, a, a good foot of line. And now we're gonna thread it through the eye, which can be tricky with braid too sometimes. But you want a braid that's thick enough to not go through where the eyelid opens. Like you want to take your hook and make sure that braid is not going to go through your eyelids. Because if, if it does, you're going to end up losing jigs on your hook set and you're going to be like, what happened? But you're going to take it through and we're going to tie a loop knot. But we want that loop knot to be probably, I'd say 10, 10 inches from the jig so we're just going to tie a quick loop knot need a little bit more so a quick loop knot i've got a video on this on the channel if you want to look it up and now at the end of this loop knot this is where people seem to struggle you want to grab the line with the eyelid and pull it down and when it gets right to the eyelid you want to pop everything off and then cinch it tight that's where people seem to struggle with that loop knot so now we've got it tied up looking for my little knife i had i don't know what i did with it oh okay Oh, I see it now, but I'm just going to grab this razor blade. And we're going to cut off our little leader line right there. Just like that. And this is what we're left with. Right here. It's a half ounce bullet weight. Not a bullet weight, a cylinder weight. With a 132 ounce with a crappy man green little minnow and that right there that little joker right there is going to catch all the open water fish all the brush pile fish it don't matter <coughs> now let's talk about the importance of this half ounce sinker you know in a lot of my videos I, I do use a number three split shot but that's mainly for convenience sake but this half ounce sinker like if you have a small split shot and a small jig head you drop it on the fish you know this is the blob on your screen you drop it it's coming down the blob does something that a fish does guys they, they swim just they they be i don't know why they do it i don't know why they just can't sit still eat your bait and go home and make a taco but they do swim so this bigger weight this is your blob. This is your two pound crappy. You drop it on him. And it's not bright. You scan over to the right. It starts to glow real bright. Because you want the image to be the brightest thing you can get. Because that's exactly where that fish is. So you can move your pole to the right. And get on that fish. But with a smaller weight. When you shift your pole. It's going to take it, you know, five to ten seconds to get over there because of the smaller weight. But if you've got this big beefy weight, it's almost instantly going to be with your pole the whole time. So this half ounce sinker 
allows you to have full jig control on that screen. You're able to manipulate your jig in front of every fish you see. So give this rig a try, guys. Uh, like I said, if you wanna learn how to tie that loop knot, I do have another video. It's real quick, it's like under a minute. Uh, go check that out. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button right there. Become a member of the Turner Fishing Family. Check out crappymanjigs.com, the best finesse jigs on the market. Go grab you some, because I'm about to make some for you guys at home right now.